What is up everyone and welcome back to more Sword Art Online Season 3. So I'm here with my reaction today to Episode 3 and I feel like we have such a long way to go when it comes to Season 3. Season 3 is huge but people have recently let me know that and it might have changed by the time I'm actually uploading this but I'm not sure if even towards the end of season three, they've got the English for me to watch just yet. So I have no idea. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if I explained, I know I said on Twitter, Sword Art is gonna be two episodes a week for just now because obviously I'm running the website. I've got a million and other things that I'm doing as well. So Tuesdays and Fridays for Sword Art. So two episodes a week and I hope that is okay. If I can ever get the time, then I will happily like buy Bump that up to more but we'll just have to see what happens. Don't forget if you want to watch this before everybody to head on over to my website suzylou.co.uk for the Patreon style version of this video and also please feel free to hit me up over on my social media so that we can chit chat all things reactions, what might be coming in the future and all that good stuff. All right so let's do this. Wake up now. Oh, that's really sad. Even though you're a lost child of Vecta and a guest, you're still expected to get up on time. Okay. Hmm. It's so sad. Like, I already miss the real world. I don't even know how long we've been stuck in this game for right now, but it's like... After the end of episode one, I'm dying to know what happened. Like, is Kirito gonna be okay? Cause I don't even want to think about a life without him. Hey! How There's cute! There's a lot I don't understand about this place. But I know I'm gonna need Yujio's help to get to Centoria. Thing is, I have to get him out of his calling first. And to do that, we'll have to chop this tree down. We're all done with the morning's quota. It's time for lunch. Where's Alice when you need her to make a really hearty meal? Hmm? I wish you could have tasted the pies Alice made. The crust was so flaky and there was so much filling. Having it with some fresh milk was the best. There's nothing in the world that tasted better than that. Wait, pie and milk? That's weird. <laughs> and don't even try and tell me it's not. What's up with the girl living at the church? You know, Selka? Oh, she's Alice's little sister. After Alice was taken away, Selka moved to the church to become a nun and study the sacred arts. Oh. Oh, that's her sister. She must be hurting so bad. All these strange things have been happening lately. Like people being attacked and kidnapped down the main road. The villagers say goblins are the ones doing it. There's goblins here? I have a feeling all that talk's just rumors. If it were true, an integrity knight should have come by now to put a stop to them. Like when Alice touched the ground in the Dark Territory. That was nothing compared to goblins. No, it's not. Either way, there have been a lot of deaths over the past two or three years, more than usual. Can't you revive them? You know, like with one of the sacred arts? But I remember Alice saying there was a high-level sacred art that could stop a life from decreasing. That'd be a good one to know, I guess. It makes me wonder, honestly, like, if someone dies in this game, does that mean that their life has actually ended in the real world and that's why they disappear from the game? The arts get their strength from the sacred power that Solus and Terraria saturate the air and land with. The more elaborate the art, the more sacred power it takes. It would take more power than this forest has, and no one from here to Zakaria could wield it. There's gotta be something better than this. Oh. That's the thing, everybody seems to just do their quota. Whereas Kirito's always someone that thinks about like the bigger picture, so if there's someone to figure out how to chop that tree down way before it's time, it'll be him. Whoa, you okay? <sighs> Mind if I open it? Okay, just be careful. If it falls on your foot, it'll leave you with more than a scratch. Is that a giant cross? 
It looks like a cross. And if it is, what's the point? <gasps> is it a sword? <gasps> no way. It's the blue rose sword from a fairy tale. 300 years ago, Bercoli the swordsman went to the end mountains. He entered the lair of the white dragon, our protector, and found that sword. It's just a silly story. That is, it was, until some kids decided to find out if it was true. I found that sword in the dragon's lair. I couldn't even lift it by myself back then. Really? What'd the dragon have to say about you guys breaking into its home? Oh, there was nothing left of it except some bones. We took the wrong tunnel, and then Alice crossed into the dark territory. And they don't remember that Kirito was there? How does he not remember that Kirito was there? Every day of rest I'd go drag it. It took three months to get it back here. It took you three whole months to do it? Why'd you even bother? I guess I was hoping one day I'd have the strength to swing it. I'm still not strong enough to. Do you think you are? I'm down to try. I'm a swordsman after all. It's crazy! So it's like, why? Was Kirito even there? How strange! Or maybe because Kirito logged out? Uh, I don't know, I don't know! It's something that was either made with the help of the gods, or was created by them. We call things like that divine objects. That makes sense. Hey, Yujiro, could you, like, check how much life the Giga Cedar has now? Don't tell me, let me guess. You're going to try striking it with the sword. You're damn straight I am. But you can barely even lift it! Mind you, this is Kitty Toe we're talking about here, so... All this seems so familiar. Yeah, I wonder why! Right now, it's at 232,315. Cool. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hurt yourself? No, I'm okay. I told you before, that tree is tough. <laughs> I got stuck in the tree! And deep, too. I was gonna Go say, on. he actually cut, like, a far way into it. Maybe this could work and we could, like, hurry up. It only went down one point? Your hit landed in the wrong spot. I bet it would have decreased its life a lot more if you got it in the center of the cut instead of the bark. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, why don't you put it in the bit that you've already been working on and then it might go down even more. I can barely hold this sword, let alone swing it. It's all about technique, and I can help you with that. <sighs> okay, I'll give it a shot. <gasps> I was gonna say, are we even gonna be able to get it out? <laughs> I think I lost some life on that one. Oh well, it was a good try. Nah, there must be some way to make this tree go faster. It says my object control authority's at 38. I guess that's my parameter. The swords is higher. Well, then we need to start leveling up so that we can use the sword. I need Yujio's help, but he won't bail on his calling. If it wasn't for that taboo index, he could do whatever he wants. He said the Axiom Church came up with it. I wonder what the deal is with them. If I'm right and these people are AI floodlights in a simulated civilization, there's no way the system would let them break a rule. Yujio said Alice broke the taboo index when she accidentally crossed into the dark territory, but she was there by choice. She went against the system. So is she not an AI? Hello? Uh, is someone in there? Yeah, there is. I I'm almost done. Oh. I wanted to ask you something. I was gonna say, can we get dressed first before you just invite a girl into your bath? 
It's about your older sister. I heard about her, you know, from Yujio. And like, he told me her name was Alice. He did, did he? What else did he tell you? I got the feeling he's really worried about her. I didn't know. I thought he forgot about her. This explains a lot about him, though. She's the reason Yujio's so sad. I didn't get that. He seems fine. He's not. You had to have noticed it. How quiet and gloomy he is. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you watch your best friend or maybe potential love interest get taken away like that, and there's nothing you can do, of course he's going to be in pain. You really like him, don't you? <laughs> Everyone compares me to Alice. No one says it, but I know. When my parents see me, I remind them of her. And I can't stand it anymore. And that's probably why Yujiu avoids me. When he sees me, he thinks of her and I can tell it makes him sad. Is there no way that we can get her back? Do we even know if she's alive? She was sentenced to death. You're tougher than I am. I can't tell you how many times I've cried in front of people. Hold on. Is your memory back? No! It just feels that way is all. Anyway, back to you. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. You're you, not your sister. Did you two happen to tell you why the Integrity Knight took my sister away? Um, yeah, he did. My parents wouldn't tell me. And Yuji wouldn't tell me either. Maybe you could tell me why? Um. I see. The end mountains, huh? Oh. Tomorrow's our day of rest. Still, be on time. I won't be coming to wake you up anymore. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. She's gonna go there, isn't she? She's gonna go touch it so that she gets taken away. What do you think? Oh, I hope not. Because if she does do that, Kirito's going to feel guilty as anything. Have you seen Selka today? No. Oh, I no. I just woke up, actually. So I see. Well, I have not seen her all morning. She missed prayers, and she is not in her room. If you see her, please let me know. Oh, Kirito. There's probably a good reason why no one told her. Do you think something might have upset her? Yes! <laughs> See, like, the, when she said they won't tell me, that should have been your cue, Kitty to not tell her. She wouldn't go to the End Mountains on her own, would she? That's exactly where she went. We have to bring her back now. You idiot, Kitty to. How can you be so stupid? She even said no one would tell her. She wants to get captured so that she can go be with her sister. And the dark territories down that way, huh? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I think. I guess. System call. Generate luminous element. Adhere. Got that from Alice. But like, you said system. Do you even know what that means? Nothing. It's just a word. Well, a command. It's to call on the gods. As long as you have enough skill, you'll be blessed with the art you summon. He thinks he's casting a magic spell. Come on, let's go. Right. Wait, what's that all about? Why did Kirito freak out over the word system? Is that something from the SAO days? I mean, there's no sign of her. <clears throat> well, she's been somewhere because she stood this on the planet. This is plan. as good a sign as any. It could be her, I guess. Hey, Yujiya. What is it? If she crosses into the Dark Territory, does an Integrity Knight come and take her right away? No, not until the next day. Look, even if she does break the Taboo Index, all we have to do is keep her away from the village. The Integrity Knight can't arrest her if he can't find her. That's insane. Are you joking? I bet you wish you did that for Alice. At least do it for her sister. This is all on me. No, it's not. <laughs> Soka! <laughs> Please, Lord, tell me that she's not crossed over. She's totally crossed over, hasn't she? Oh! Oh no! 
Crap. Goblins. Do we have a weapon? Oh no. <gasps> She's tied up. Oh, God. No, you idiots! Oh my god, dude! Do we have a weapon? Did we take the sword? It's too heavy to drag. Let's tie up to the other one. Silence! They're male use. We take them back, no one buy them. Worthless. Kill them and make them meat instead. Oh god. You Gio. Oh no, you Gio, come on, dude! You gotta step it up! You Gio! You Gio! You Gio! He's gonna freeze again! He is the worst wingman ever, right? Right? <laughs> it's like near death experience, and he's just like, oh no, oh no, and I'm, I must go cut some trees. Oh no. Stupid, stupid Kirito. See, when someone says, will you tell me? Because nobody else would tell me. There's probably a good reason why everybody else isn't telling you. Okay? So, duh! Honestly thought that Kirito would be a little bit smarter than that. But no, he thinks he's just doing good by being like, oh, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes you have to just keep your mouth shut. It's difficult for some people, myself sometimes, but sometimes saying nothing is better. Hey, at least we found her before she crossed over. If she crossed over, I don't know what we could have done to stop what would happen next. She'd get taken away. She'd be killed. I mean, we we talk as if Alice isn't dead, like there's a chance that we can find her, but it did specifically say that she'll be executed for breaking it, so I don't know. Man, I love Sword Art. I love the soundtrack, I love Kirito, I love the characters, and I'm really getting invested in this new story, in this new game. So yeah, I'm excited to see what happens next. And I'm excited for Kirito to take on some goblins. Although I'm not sure how he's gonna do it without a weapon, but yeah, time will tell. Thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.